All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly predictions video for what I think is going to happen in next week's episode of Fear the Walking Dead Season 3. This is for episode 14. It's called El Matadero. And spoiler warning, if you guys have not seen episode 13 yet, I did the review for it earlier. It's in the channel right now, and I'll have it in the end videos for you guys if you want to watch that one after you watch this one. So let's give our thoughts on what we think is going to happen in episode 14. You guys can write yours in the comments below. Do your predictions of where you think they're going with this. I uh, almost feel like at this point your guess is as good as mine because, I mean, this season has been really nuts. To think that the ranch is pretty much over and done with at this point, uh, the, pretty much the whole thing has been basically wiped out um, you have you know the group having left it now left it behind and are kind of moving on from there uh, Madison the others heading towards the uh, the dam because it's a really good location uh, very rich I want to say in resources uh, walls uh, fortified and a good place to uh, set up a zombie apocalypse uh, shop so to speak uh, to survive long term which is really smart um, you have Alicia that I want to say at this point is kind of going off on her own sort of on as an adventure maybe trying to kind of run away or not wanting to be around her family or anybody that she cares about because uh, she's just had to be responsible in episode 13 for putting down many many people survivors of the community many of which we have to take it that she got to know a little bit maybe we didn't get to see it all in every single scene uh, that we got to see for fear but uh, you know a lot of characters uh, that were uh, as a part of the uh, the ranch community that she felt very uh, a strong connection to and having to basically clean that out you know bodies just hitting the floor like left right and center um really has you would think done a number and then finding out at the end that jake of course is uh, dead too it just kind of i want to say being too much for her causing her to kind of run off on her own which i don't feel like is uh is contrived or you know or doesn't make sense naturally for someone who just went through something like that to decide to do you know i definitely uh do see it as totally understandable considering what she just went through uh in episode 13 and just just how bad that was uh for someone to just kind of want to be alone and just kind of go off on their own uh and kind of shut down in that way socially after uh, what happens even turning you know letting her family go and just kind of going off uh wherever just on some aimless you know going to where uh, the place Jake was uh, was talking about, just heading in that direction, just see where where she ends up, kind of kind of thing. So definitely makes a lot of sense, um, but it's it's a strange placement in terms of episodes, considering that we only have you know three episodes left of the season with a double finale coming up. Um, episodes 15 and 16 after this week's episode coming up episode 14 so this week episode 14 you know because we kind of had i want to say we basically kind of had like a season finale at episode 12 i would say episode 12 to 13 that's kind of like a season finale type of uh, thing for me i mean that's what i would expect if they use episode 12 as episode 16 i would not be disappointed it it felt like a season finale so at this point for the season i mean it's really hard to say where they're going to go with the story now what they're going to do I almost feel like they're probably going to start some new stories here, some new things here, but then mainly have it... Um placed over into season four next year is uh, my best guess just considering timing three episodes left a lot of different characters involved here in different mini stories um, you know our main kind of focus i want to say probably going forward will most likely be at the end of the season the dam and uh, the others and all that getting set up there i don't think we'll probably see alicia meet back with the rest of her family this season not until next year so we'll probably see a bit from her in this episode but then maybe episodes 15 and 16 She'll kind of be more into the background and that kind of uh, deal. It also looks like in the promo that we don't see Nick actually, Nick and Troy, actually find Alicia from the looks of things. It looks like she's kind of on her own, and they may have possibly lost track of her or gotten into their own kind of trouble. So they've had to kind of uh, head out on foot or something of the sort while she has kind of uh, maybe lost them. So... 
We're going to have to see uh, what that amounts to. And if Nick kind of turns around and goes back, uh, there is a scene in this one where uh, you have Madison in the promo talking with Nick. So that would lead me to believe that at some time in this episode, he must kind of get back to her unless that's kind of some kind of, you know, flashback sequence or, or a sequence at the very beginning when Nick is just leaving that they didn't show us in episode 13. Um, either way, you know, for him to kind of meet up with Madison again in this episode, I just think it would be a little bit strange because he kind of had it, had it out on that direction and Madison kind of seems like they went in the, the opposite direction. Uh, so it's uh, just a little bit tricky to, to say how this is all going to kind of uh, go go through here. And uh, Fear kind of continuing with its kind of branched out story with different characters in different locations with different kind of missions and different kind of things that they're doing. Um which I suppose makes sense. Uh, also, because you don't have that many forefront characters like you do in the original series, you kind of have to, I suppose, focus on them more than you would if you have more characters that you can uh, you can kind of give that focus to. Especially after episode 13, it really feels like they've kind of cleaned house <laughs> with, uh, with kind of all these new characters they're bringing out with the ranch kind of all being dead except for like Troy crazy dog you know uh walker you know it's, it's just kind of strange that i'm still kind of uh you know adapting in terms of the story kind of understanding like okay who do we have alive now and who's dead because it really feels like our cast is getting pretty small right now in terms of uh kind of survivors which you could look at as a bad thing or you could look at maybe as a good thing if you like kind of that survival horror uh that we kind of used to have more in the walking dead at the, earlier on in the series when you just had a dozen or so characters versus now where you have what seems like hundreds with negan saviors survivors that kind of deal so the episode title El Matadero uh, translates to the slaughter yard. Um, and you can Google it too. There's uh, lots of stuff on it online you can check out. Uh, the synopsis reads, uh, Alicia encounters a potential ally. Ophelia fights for survival. Nick uses his skill set for profit. So this one's kind of interesting. Nick using his skill set for profit. We can kind of see him going in a whisper mode there as he's kind of like getting with the zombies to kind of make it like weird. <laughs> that which kind of looks funny. You can see the butt all over him, that kind of deal. So I'm glad that they're kind of bringing that part back with Nick because that is one of his skills that he hasn't really been using at all. And you would think that he would because he learned this in season two and it's like we haven't even seen it. So I'm glad that we're kind of seeing that again because it does... It does make a lot of sense that he would kind of use that his advantage. And also he's shown Troy that now too. So Troy, or it looks like he's showing him that in this episode. So Troy may be like, oh my God, this guy's for real. <laughs> this is crazy. He's walking into a, a horde of zombies and he's leading them or something. That is cool, you know. So you can see how him and Nick could be like best friends, even though Troy's nuts, right? But Nick can lie for him, so it's okay. Um... Then we've got Ophelia uh, fighting for survival. I have no idea what that's going to be about. Uh, maybe uh, Daniel, you know, kind of one of these things where when she's just about to meet again with Daniel, maybe something happened with her. I could see them maybe killing her off in the finale, like just before she gets to see her dad again. Something have something happen. He's going after her, and then she she's killed just before he gets there or something like that. That would make sense for a good finale, I think. In the slaughter yard part, I wonder if it isn't referring to the, uh, the merchant uh, trading post that they're heading towards because uh, it kind of seems like... Like, uh, Strand is a little bit worried. Madison seems confident that she knows what they're walking into. She might not. You know, we'll have to see what this uh, slaughter yard is all about. And, you know, anytime you see the word slaughter, it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely... Definitely dark for sure. It sounds dark uh, for with the uh, the trading uh, the trading. So there's, and we also heard that they're going to be there's going to be like a new villain coming on soon. So. Yeah, I mean, something with the merchants, I think, is, is what's going to happen here. So Alicia encounters a potential ally. So we can kind of see this in the uh, the sneak peek. Uh, I'll put the links to both in the description below, almost in the promo as well, too. Uh, it's kind of cool you see Alicia. She's kind of jumping into, like, uh, the play bubbles. You guys know the, the play bubbles you have at, like, uh, kids, uh, you know, shops and stuff. Or some fast food joints used to have them. You could play. You could jump in the bubbles and stuff. Those are always fun when you're younger. When you get older, you're too big. You can't. You're not allowed to go in and play with a zombie apocalypse. If you want to, you can play in the bubbles. So she's playing the bubbles with her guy. Not really. She's kind of just like in there, you know, scoping. And you see some lady coming in, killing zombies uh, with what seems like a pickaxe. Uh, at least that's what it looks like to me. And she looks pretty badass. Um, Strand and Madison, I know what we're walking into. Alicia, get in your car and get out of here. Uh, crazy Dog, stop the truck. And he kind of runs off the back. We've got Walker who says, put an end to this. And you kind of see one of those guys from the training post in the background. So we'll have to see what that's uh, uh, referring to. Uh, maybe a new villain intro or something. Uh, it seems interesting for sure. Um, 
Madison says to Nick, uh, I don't know what I would do without you. Troy uh, has blood on him and says, Nick, as Nick walks into, you know, all funny, into the herd of uh, zombies, which is pretty cool. And then we've got Daniel say, where's Ophelia? Uh, so we'll have to see what uh, happens with that. Someone putting their gun down. And then the scavenging surprise sneak peek. Uh, Alicia driving around in her car. Um, you know, you touch my stuff and I will crack you open like a coconut. So you've got that from the other girl. Could she be a potential ally? Not sure. She seems pretty tough. Um... You know, so we'll have we'll just have to see what that's uh, you know what she is if she's an ally or she becomes an enemy. What happens? Of course, Alicia at that point wouldn't have known that that stuff in the car belonged to somebody. She probably just thought she was getting some free, but she does have a gun, and we're not sure if the other uh, person, the other girl, does have a gun as well too. So I have to see what she kind of gets into out here, kind of. Uh, on her own. So, uh, looks like an okay episode. Uh, you know, I, again, I'm not expecting too much more from Fear this season. I feel like they've probably already brought us a full season of content. It's just that they put the pedal to the metal so fast that they burn through it in, um, you know, 12 episodes, and then the 13th was another a good kind of add-on. But 14, 15, and 16, I'm expecting to mostly be set up for the next season, which, goddamn, I gotta say, man, if season four is anything like season three, I am just loving fear, absolutely. I'd even say, you know, aside from the original Walking Dead TV series, it's maybe, it's becoming my most anticipated thing to watch. Like, every week, like this season, I've been, I can't wait to watch fear once uh, once we got into it, you know, and that and everything. It's like, oh my god, so good. So even the first half was fantastic too and uh, you know at least people are not going to get bored because you're already past the ranch now we're on to a new storyline they're back out there in the world again you've got this merchant trade center which a lot of people seem to like the idea of uh, possibly the dam is a long-term possible home for them with the ranch having been destroyed and uh, yeah just some really great stuff here uh, setting us up for these last few episodes uh, but I don't think it's going to be kind of a typical finale for the season I think it's going to be more like a um, Exciting, maybe one one character death, but mostly it's probably going to be uh, you know a uh, villain intro, uh, not much care dev, probably a little bit, but then a setup mostly for the uh, in the finale for season four to try to get people to uh, to come back, which uh, I am not at all disappointed about if that is what they do, considering that we already kind of had our I want to say big sort of episode, which was episode twelve. I want to say as far as the season goes, probably being the biggest episode of the year, I would think for uh, for fear. So those are kind of my predictions about the episode guys i'm not expecting again i'm not expecting all that much right now because we've seen so much already this season they've burned through so much stuff i just can't help but think that with that kind of pacing uh i don't know what else they got left in the tank we'll have to see what else they got left and kind of how this uh new setup kind of finishes off the season usually at this point you have them kind of marching towards some kind of you know finale you know thing going on but this season it feels like we already got that so it's just a weird place to be at so write your comments below with your predictions what do you guys think will happen check out the review if you guys didn't see it yet and send me your questions for the q and a's for this week guys uh definitely would love to do a couple uh at least probably have one tomorrow for you guys or the next day and uh, then of course we'll get started making more walking dead videos because we're getting closer it's now october so it's october now uh if you guys like this video please don't forget to thumb it up below you can share favorite leave a comment and if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel i would appreciate the bottom left to subscribe that's it for this one i'll see you guys again soon for another video as always is trev and i'm saying peace later guys i'll see you soon